Welcome back, everybody. I am here in the kitchen with our favorite mixologist, Dave Kiawa from PA Fine Wine and Spirits, and he's showing us how to make some great cocktails for the holidays. We always love it when you come and visit, and you have a great lineup today. It's a terrific lineup. You know, we're now into December, mm -hmm. so Christmas is right around the corner, and it means holiday gatherings. And I've got four fantastic cocktails that can allow you to dazzle your guests this holiday season. The first one I have is called a mistletoe martini. Okay. And a mistletoe martini starts out with gray goose vodka. Mm -hmm. So this is a French vodka, one and a half ounces. Then we use uh, Saint Germain, which is an elderflower liqueur. Okay. So we use just a half an ounce of that. Elderflower liqueur gives it kind of a sweetness, a little bit of a floral quality. Then we use a half an ounce of simple syrup and one and a half ounces of cranberry juice. So let's just go ahead and put those all in our shaker. You have it pre-measured there to make pre things fast. Pre-measured, make it easy and quick. And we're gonna shake it up, put shake. it in our cocktail shaker. And again, this is the mistletoe martini. This is the mistletoe martini. Then when you're done pouring it into your martini glass, we're gonna garnish it with some cranberries and also a mint sprig. And you know what, and that makes it look so festive. Like Isn't so much of it is the presentation, right? I was hoping you were coming over to there me with go. this. Yeah, because look you to at enjoy it. That. With this that floating out. around in here with the mint, it just looks all holiday. All right, I'm gonna try this. Perfect. Very well balanced. Oh martini. yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could drink a lot of this. Good. Well, <laughs> All right, we're off to a great start. We're off to a great start, and we're moving on to the Jack Frost. Okay. And the Jack Frost starts out with Bacardi Superior Rum. So this is just a white rum. And then we also put in, uh, so we're doing uh, one ounce of that. Okay. Then one ounce of Bowles Blue Curacao. Bowles Blue Curacao uh -huh. is actually triple sec that's tinted blue. To make the, uh, is that the drink a little is? bit more interesting. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So it's an orange liqueur, but it's colored blue. And we do two ounces of pineapple juice, and we're gonna do one ounce of coconut cream. So, because I can't really pre measure coconut cream, I'm gonna go ahead and put an ounce of that in here. Then we're gonna drop all these other ones in with a little bit of ice that we've put in our blender. So this is gonna kinda of take you to the islands for the holidays. It's gonna take you to the islands, absolutely. Okay, I so love I'm that gonna... you have the blender ready to go. We're ready to roll. I, I was worried you didn't have your hand on the lid and I thought, oh my gosh, we may have a moment. <laughs> All right, you have to explain the garnish on this because okay. this looks so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so look at this. what we've done is we've taken, rimmed the glass with just a little bit to make the coconut stick. I've put a little bit of honey around the edges. This is so cool. And rimmed it with coconut. So look at that. This Jack presentation Frost. points ab above and beyond for this. So the coconut around here stuck on there with honey and then the actual drink. We've got to try it. Wait till you taste it, David. Oh yeah. Tastes like That's Christmas. really good too. <laughs> oh my, you're two for two now and we have more. So we the have Mary Margarita is Mary, next. Mary Margarita, which really isn't that different than a regular margarita. So we have Camarena, Silver tequila. Okay. We're going to do one and a half ounces of that, one ounce of Jacqueline's triple sec, one ounce of lime juice, and a half an ounce of cranberry juice. So we're going to go ahead and put that in, and we're going to top it off with a little bit of club soda. So we're going to mix that up nice and easy. We're going to put that into our margarita glass, which we've also rimmed with salt, just okay. to make it a traditional margarita. Put our lime wedge on the edge. And we're also going to add some more of those cranberries. See, because that makes it, you add the cranberries floating around in there, and it just makes it very festive. It, All right. This is a it, tough job. It takes day, a regular margarita and turns it into a merry margarita. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This one's great looking, too. What are your thoughts on that one? Pretty much oh, a classic like margarita, a little yeah, bit of that cranberry twist. But it reminds me of like beach time and just summertime. It's great. All right, all right, we're running out of time, but the Tennessee okay. Toddy, Tennessee we do not toddy, want to leave out. Tennessee Toddy starts with two ounces of Jack Daniels whiskey, four ounces of hot water, half an ounce of lemon juice, and half an ounce of honey. So we're going to take and put that honey in the bottom here. Oh, okay. And we're going to add the other ingredients. And the hot water is what you kind of need to liquefy that honey. So when we put that in, we're going to garnish it all with a cinnamon stick. And that's all you need to have it hot, just the hot water. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. That's so all I just, you need. I just preheated water this morning, put it in my Yeti, and uh, we're good to go. Okay. And so this is a hot toddy. So this is a Tennessee toddy because okay. of the Tennessee Jack Daniels whiskey. All right, I'm going to try this too. But it is your <laughs> classic hot toddy. Oh, all of them are so different, 
and this is so good. good. It really, no. Good. Out of the park. Great job, Dave. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by and making these beautiful drinks. They're gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, so just let's make sure we remind everybody when you're drinking over the holidays, please drink responsibly. Absolutely. All right. Thanks again, Dave, for joining us as always. And Heather, we're going to send it over to you. Look. You're Cheers. Not, you're not coming back, are you, David? I may not come back. <laughs> There's some drinking to do here. <laughs> I see that. Well, if you want to craft one of Dave's holiday drinks, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We're going to have the recipes posted for you there.